Welcome back, Freelancers. I'm Defeat Rescue, and we're continuing with the uh, Gear Showcase series. Uh, I'm in the Interceptor today, and uh, got a bunch of people in the in the the uh, launch bay. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was, um, but we'll go ahead and go out the bastion and get to it. Okay, back out in Bastion. So we'll give it a second to uh, load in, see if uh, some of the fruits are down there. But while we're doing that, we'll wait up where we'll kind of go over where Shook is. So we're going back to the strike system. Um, so we've been over uh, Sudden Death and uh, Care's Talon. And then today we're going to be going over Spectre's Flash. So Spectre's Flash is a detonator. It does about 13,000 damage, char recharge is about 7, which is pretty standard, not too bad. Um, it has a radius, so that basically means that the Spectre's Flash itself doesn't exactly have to hit that specific dead-on target. It, it, it kind of goes off in a radius. Um, it's an upgraded Wraith Strike, and then it projects a ghost to a target. Um, the wording is a little weird here, and then it's even weirder down here with the Masterwork perk, which it detonates aura combos. So what that means is when it hits a prime target, it will detonate that combo, and then you should get the aura. Um, I don't really have a lot of good rolls on this one, uh, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. It's got some damage on it, but n nothing too significant. Pretty pretty small rolls. Uh, and then we're going to go see uh, see how it works. All right. Nope, no brutes. the necropolis okay so I'm gonna start uh, shortening these videos up a little bit uh, I've had a few I know we kind of originally the plan was to keep them a little bit short but I kind of wanted to showcase to everyone uh, um, basically that I was in GM1 or GM3 what my build was no components but I think at this point everyone should be kind of uh, knowledgeable on what's really going on and I'll still kind of talk about it. Um, but yeah, I, a lot of people have said that they feel like the videos are a little too long too, so that's fine. I'm just not, I'm just not trying to hide anything. Uh, I want everything to be out there uh, uh, kind of in front so everyone can see it. If I get enough people saying, well, I still am not sure I want to see it, I'll still have the raw footage and I'm, I have no problem posting that as well. Uh, but yeah, if enough people are like, no, 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 we liked seeing you go through the process and everything, I can go right back to that too. But uh, we'll go down here and showcase it. So that's pretty much what it does. It shoots out a shadow of yourself, almost like a clone, to uh, whatever the target is. So you see how it did like a little bit of tracking, and then it hit kind of multiple enemies in the area. So right there, it missed. I gotta wait for it to recharge. I don't have enough charges on it. So it hit them and detonated in that area. Granted, they weren't primed. But you see how it's kind of like jumping to a target? It's almost acting. So it almost acts like Binary Star if you're familiar with the storm. Uh, ooh, I'm on fire, so I gotta wait to, <laughs> for that to leave me. <clears throat> Doing pretty good damage, nothing, there's nothing special. So it only hit two out of that group. So it's, it's hitting that one, and then it's going to the next one. But it only stays around for a little bit. It's not, where with Bar Binary Star, where it would kind of hang around for a minute, once it hit one enemy, it bounced to the next, and then once it hit that enemy, it bounced to the next, and it would just keep going for about three or four enemy types. Let's see what it does against shields. So, GM1 takes down shields and health really well. So, it actually missed them. I don't know if that was because they were out of range. Mm. I kind of want to take out this Firestorm. So, I took out their shield and did a little bit of health. They were already missing about a third of their health. And it still kind of drifted toward them, but it still didn't hit them. Let's see if we can get them again. I'm just going to take them out. It's 
We still have another storm to get a pool of information from. They were just setting me on fire consistently, so I had to take care of that. So it looked like it hit this enemy here, it hit this enemy here, and then it kind of started to go to that enemy, but didn't quite make it. Yeah, so it jumps to at least two enemies. All right, let's see what it does against armored enemies. Takes them down pretty well. Nothing special. It's pretty much a one-shot, so if you had a lot of charges on this, it could be very useful in GM1. Especially if they're grouped up, you might be able to get a handful of them. All right. Let's try not to get frozen real quick. All right. See if we can kite the uh, storm over here. All right, so took down the shield, took about a third of health, and yep, took him out. And then it hit off one of those other enemies as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and take out this guy real quick because I just want to do one on one with the ranger. Let them do their all. So it took about two thirds of their shield, a little more than two thirds of their shield. Let's go ahead and get their shield down. All right, shield down. So it took a little more than a third of the health. They took another one third. It took a little bit of their shield too, though, because they were just getting their shield back. And one more should do it. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too special to talk about. Um, just does really good damage. And it's got a little bit of crowd control. But we'll head over to the GM3 and uh, see what we get there. Alright, so you might be wondering, wait a minute, why are you at the hollow? I thought we were going to Acropolis. Well, uh... As of lately, I've noticed that, especially in GM3, that when I go into the Necropolis, there's like no enemies in there because somebody has just cleared it out. So it takes a while, especially in certain servers, for enemy types to come back. Uh, so I'm going over to the Hollow. And uh, I mean, it's honestly the Necropolis, and the main reason I've been going to it is is just because of convenience. It's actually not the best place to farm, especially outlaws. There's much better dungeons for that. Um, but we can go into here. This one works just as fine. The same, uh, same enemy types. Alright. So, GM3. So, you can see there. This is pretty common with things when we come to GM, from 1 to GM3. Pretty much seeing the same kind of stuff. It took about a quarter of their health. And they jumped from one hit to the other. But what we haven't... So, yeah. Took a little, it takes a little bit more than four. It's doing damage to other enemy types that are in the general area. Um, but yeah. Still not, not super powerful on its own. However, it's a detonator, so they tend not to have a lot of extra damage to them. Or extra uh, damage effects. Let's we'll see what it does against the shield. So it does pretty good against shield. It doesn't completely take them off, but it does uh, do damage against them. However, they're getting them back pretty quick because I'm not applying damage to them consistently. But as far as the gunners, it, it does about the same as it does against the normal enemy types, the normal outlaws. So we'll go ahead, go through. I paired this with um, a primer. And we'll kind of showcase how it works out. So now I've got... So this is, this is really where this one shines. Um, I am under electric effect right now. As you can see, I am burning them with electric effect. So when it hits an enemy type. Oh, well, he went down like a sack of potatoes. But basically, when I detonate an enemy type, I get the primer as my aura. I threw that way too far. Hmm. Now they're going down for my primary a little too easily. No, 
All right, so let's we'll see how it does against shields for the storm. And it takes about half the shield away for a storm. Now I'm under electric effect, which means I should be able to get their shield down pretty easily. So where strength really um, kind of exists are in areas of grouped up enemies that are primed. Because it can bounce around, hit a bunch of enemies over there, and then it'll prime you as well. And see how it's like primed all the other ones as well? So if I had a lot of charges on this, I could just keep, keep detonating uh, primers. So I'm gonna try and take out one of these storms. I kind of want to take out the firestorm specifically. So he's fire, and now I'm fire. So you see, I walk up to him. I'm setting them on fire with tick damage from my aura. Clear some of these guys out. All right, Lego time. All right, let's see if I can prime them. Oh, well, they're gonna go down easily. All right, so there's armor enemy types. Let me just throw one out of them. So it doesn't do very good against armor. It does not do good against armored enemy types. And now I'm primed again. So if you got a lot of different primers, you can keep consistently priming yourself. So they're on Fire. Oh, I didn't get it in time. Let me pop my ult real quick, get my health back. Alright, health is back. Let's see if we can prime them. Yep, there it is. Okay. So that's that's essentially how you want to make it work, is you really want to get primes on. So we've kind of seen how it works against their shield. We'll go ahead and try and take their shield down. Let me use this instead. A little bit better for shield. Okay, shield's down. Hit him with that. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It does decent damage in general, but as far as just doing damage all around, it's on its own, it's really not that great. So, we'll go ahead and prime him real quick. Oh, shoot. Let's see if we can get their shield down and see if we can prime them. Okay, so now they're primed. We'll go ahead and shoot it out. Goes to him, it primes me. And now they got fire tick damage. And I can just walk up to him and tick damage him. So that's where it's really interesting. If you got like a really good primer build, uh, some people might even call it a, uh, I don't want to burn them just yet. Uh, if you got like a hybrid build, that'd be really good for using your aura to do tick damage. If you want to get like aura combos really quickly and you're not using Blades of Wardening, if you're using, um, well, it doesn't even, even have to be your melee. But if you just want to have a good way, if you had a lot to detonate combos and get the aura on you without being like right up in their face, trying to play a little bit more long range, uh, this gives you a really good option for that. But we'll go ahead and take down their shield. Actually, we'll test on their shield. So yeah, about the same. Nothing special there. Can't take down a whole shield on its own. But there's nothing about it that would really indicate that it should be taking down a shield on its own. Okay. So that alone is like, yeah. It did twenty, approximately 20 some odd damage. 20,000 odd damage. So yeah, I'm seeing about 20, 22. Not horrible numbers, but like, it's going to take forever, especially with the charges and damage rolls I've got on this, to get all their just to kill them in general. So we'll go ahead and get their shield down. And then, so like, ah, uh, let's see. 
Okay. Let me get my health back real quick. Alright. So we'll see if that if we can prime them with Oh, I'm <laughs> that was weird. God, they just keep getting their hole back. So this this is where the issue is gonna come. Because they're not primed, and we'll try it with this one as well. So they're primed now. And now I'm primed, and they're still getting tick damage, and then they'll get an additional damage from my aura. And they went down. I was going to try and show you with electric. So, uh, ideally, what you'd want to try to do with this, we'll, we'll kind of go over um, in the forge. Okay, so with Spectre Splash, specifically what you're going to want to try to do with this is just have a lot of primers. There's other builds to this, but generally what you're, 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 you're going to try and do, the best I'm seeing now with, like, the crappy rules that I've got. I got some gear damage and that's about it and that's global gear damage so there's nothing special there, right? Uh, potentially what you'd want to do is have a few different... Um... Okay, so I did have blade warnings on. I thought I had Deathstalker blades on. So you, potentially for this, I would recommend putting on Deathstalker blades and then having a, a weapon type that also primes a different type of element and then also have uh, a gear piece that does prime. You don't have to do that. You can do it however you want, depending on your, your roles and your build. Uh, I think this is going to get you a lot of mileage, though. And then you just use this to detonate those. So that way you'll just... It's, basically, you don't have to be like right up in their face with Blades of Warning to detonate the combo to get the aura. Because the only way you get auras is if you detonate combos. So this really gives you a good option. Spectre Splash gives you a good option for detonating combos from really far away. And it still hits a couple enemies in the radius, so... That's the good thing about it too, and it will track somewhat. It's not really great tracking. It's it's not the best tracking. I think Binary Star is one of the best tracking as far as gear uh, items go. Binary Star and then Chronic Rhyme. I think Chronic Rhyme is actually the best because you could be like completely off from your target, and it will still try to track to that enemy type. Or with uh, Spectral Flash, it, it kind of it'll curve a little bit or strafe a little bit to them, but it's it's. It's not going to go right to them if, you, if you're missing. So you, you got to be kind of specific with your, your positioning and um, before you let it off. Because uh, you could potentially miss. However, if there are a group of enemies there, it will attempt to hit one, that enemy that you're targeting and then an enemy nearby. Uh, so that's something to consider. Uh, so let's go over the check on the boxes. Uh, is it efficient? Uh, well, I mean... As far as charges go, or recharge, that's kind of where my, my mindset falls with this. <clears throat> on its own, it has a 7, which if you look at all these, that's actually, uh, other than this one, it, the recharge is about the middle ground. It's, it's, it's not the lowest, it's not the highest, uh, it, it's, it's pretty standard across the board. Um, so, you know, efficiency-wise, it's not bad. It does a decent amount of damage. It actually, I think, does the most damage. Yeah, yeah. out of everything in the, the strike system, it, do, it has the highest damage. And it is a detonator. So for me, anything that's going to prime, detonate, or do anything with a combo system in Anthem, uh, it's going to be efficient. It's going to have a, a use, a really good use, too. Uh, just because when you get combos, you get your ult back quicker. Uh, having your all is never a bad thing even if you don't use it like me here I didn't showcase the all at all I just used it to get my health and shield back and have like a moment of invincibility um, So I definitely think it's efficient Especially because if you can load everything down with primers and then you can just consistently get auras and consistently get auras over and over and over depending on on uh, the build you have so I think it's efficient. Is it viable? Well, there you go again. It's 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 a detonator. So as long as you have a primer, you're going to be doing uh, potentially primers can do upwards of a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand damage. Where this one we were seeing about twenty thousand damage. So just spamming it out uh, is not going to be viable. Um, you're really going to need some primers to make it a good build. Uh, so I mean, yeah. It, I, I wouldn't make a build around it specifically unless you just are dumping tons of damage in it, which in that case you're probably going to want a primer because that's only going to multiply what your damage outcome is going to be anyways. So I'm going to say it's definitely uh, definitely viable. Uh, and then um, just because like, so, so, so here's the thing about viability. Uh, if there's an enemy all the way in the back of the cave and I hit them and they're prime, I get the aura. 
I don't have to run all the way over there. Hopefully they're still primed and then by the time I get there, which there's quick ways to get over there with an interceptor, by no means is that the only way. Like you can get to enemy types from across an arena very quickly with interceptor. Probably the quickest. I don't, I, yeah. There's no enemy that, or sorry, there's no javelin that has the ability to get from one place to the other as quickly as the interceptor. Um, but to get over there and detonate them with like your blades of wardening and then get the aura. So being able to just launch something out and take care of it while you're dealing with some enemy types over here makes it very, very viable. Uh, and then uh, is it fun? Um, so, so with fun, your mileage is going to vary because fun is kind of up into the interpretation of the user. So it depends on what your fun is. For me, I like detonating combos. I like when I have to put a lot of thought process into something and I have to wait for it to recharge or um, I have to like be very, very mindful of my positioning and things like that. When I have a lot of things that I have to line a lot of stuff up to just get that perfect use of it, that to me is not fun. To me, what's fun is, is I can throw it over, the, let me recharge it. So I can throw it over there and then detonate a, uh, um, uh, an enemy on that side and then kind of like set these enemies on fire or prime them and then I'll have my aura so now I can just run up to enemies and start meleeing them to do melee damage while using a fire aura or acid aura or, or whatever aura to damage them to get additional damage on them um, and, and you know there's not a lot of thought process in that you don't have to like really micromanage all your gear and your 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 uh, your cooldowns um, your recharges all that stuff you know it's, it's not a lot for you to have to handle it once you can kind of just jump in and go to it so to me that's fun so i don't really use specter splash a whole lot uh, i have different builds for the interceptors i have a few of them that i use uh that i go along with so it's up to you as far as like if it comes to the store um do you want to spend two thousand coin on it but if you don't have it i definitely recommend buying it i think that uh you should collect everything because especially with 2.0 coming out nothing has been confirmed whether or not they're getting rid of gear components that's uh, that's up into interpretation because of how they're reworking uh some of the stuff but that's 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 going to be a role that you're going to have to take because coin might not even be in the game either so but we don't even know when that's going to come that could be a year it could be two years from now hopefully not but like i said no one in bioware has confirmed or denied a date they have not confirmed or denied what's going over what's not so that's, that's up to you to manage your resources how you want. Um, but I would say that having Spectre's Flash in your inventory is definitely worth it uh, if you just have one. Just so you can play around with it and test it. It's probably one of the better ones for getting multiple different types of uh, aura uh, for the Interceptor. Uh, I think there might be one that's a little bit better, but we'll go over that in that one's showcase. And this one's definitely a competitor, competitor for that. But... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, uh, I think that's all I got. Hopefully these videos are a little bit shorter. Um, if you guys have any thoughts or comments, just let me know, and uh, I'll address them as I can. But uh, I'm Defeated Rescue, and uh, hope to see you guys out in Bastion.